Hello and welcome to our series on uh, building a Python app to extract data from Atlassian using the JIRA APIs. Today is a big day. Today we are going to actually request data. So in previous episodes, we went through and uh, imported some libraries, gave ourselves some variables to work with, and logged into JIRA and got back our J session ID. And today, we'll go ahead and create a new section here. B, escape two, and I'm gonna call it request data. Escape B to give me a new line below, and we are ready to go. The first thing we need, of course, is a URL to contact. And we have a few different URLs this time, but they all are concatenations of our base URL with something. So I'm going to copy that a few times and paste, paste. So we have a few up here, a user API, a issue picker API, and a BI export API. So we'll put all those in here, user API. Um, issue picker API and our BI export API. Now this BI export API is a little different because the, the first ones here, we actually put our query string right on the, um, at the end of the API. But this one we wanted to be configurable so you could just change the dates right there very easily. So we do need to append these two dates onto the end of our query string. And we'll do that down here plus uh, question mark start date equals nope analysis start date and ampersand end date equals analysis end date there we have it. Now these two I'm going to comment out for now. We'll, we'll test them in order. And um, we'll start off with that user API. Now in addition to having a URL to contact, we also need to send a little bit of data, our authentication. And we're gonna put that into a cookie. And it's gonna be a dictionary object. Who, the name is gonna be J session ID. And here's, oops, J session ID. And here is where we put in the J session ID that we saved out earlier. My J session ID. Yep, that is our cookie. And with these two bits of data, we are ready to actually make a request and get back a response. So that is going to be a request. This is a uh, get request, and we're sending it off to URL. And we're going to attach some cookies to it. So cookies equals what I call my cookie. Okay, and as before, we might get an error back. So we'll, in fact, we'll want all of that. Copy and paste. If our response dot status code does not equal success, raise an exception. This time it's a get, so I'll tell myself that. This time the URL is just called URL. And we're gonna format our response dot status code to give it back to us, see what, what code we got back. If we do not get an error, that means we got a good response and um, I would like to see it. So I'm going to print it out in a debug fashion. So our response will equal, it's going to be a dictionary. So I'll use format again to do that. Format JSON. That's a lot of closing marks there, but it should, should do the job. Let's see what we've got. Run on. Aha! So we, our user API queried for Alex A. And there he is, Alex Alexander, Alex A. And we get all the information back about that particular user. Well, that went well. Let's try another URL. This time we'll come out. Uh, I guess we don't have to, it's just reset. But anyway, issue picker. Let's see what we get back this time. We should have gotten back all the issues belonging to admin. And there are a few, yep, and we get them back with the summary, the issue key for PM1, publish project definition guidelines. Okay, that one works. And now we'll try our third one, which is the BI export URL, which should give us a list of all issues that were new or changed between the analysis start date and the analysis end date, which is February, because I had to switch over to new test server in between episodes. Well, there they are. Quite a bit of work done. We get issues, comments, and work logs. 
Okay, so this is the, the big one, the one I want, and I don't actually want to just print it out. We're going to want to um, package it up so we can save it and print or save it to file to save it to a CSV file. So instead of just printing it out, let's put it into an object. My records equals um, response.json, and out of that we want to pull records because that is the the main key for all of this records right there. I think I will stop here and just try to print this out. Let's just make sure we got my records populated. Close that up, close that up, and run. Yep, there they are, my records, and it's just that array of records that were that was inside the JSON response. Perfect. Okay, so that is it for today's episode. In the next episode, we'll take this uh, and load it into a Pandas data frame so that we can read it out as CSV and save it to file. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.